Hello loves, hope you're well and eating good. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you these delicious, crispy, vegan sweet corn fritters. They're so simple to make. Let's get right in. So first thing you're going to need is some flour. Um, I also have some cornmeal in here and baking powder. I'll have all the details in my blog post, so please check that out. And then, of course, you'll need some corn. Now, I'm using frozen corn that I just defrosted and let drain out. You can use canned corn or fresh corn. It's really, really up to you. But frozen corn is really cheap, and that means you can make it often. So, you know, just go for whatever suits you. Then you'll need some spices, whatever you want. I'm using garlic powder, oregano, chili flakes, and paprika. All up to you. You can use all purpose. Go wild. It's up to you. <laughs> so then you'll also need some milk. I'm using soy milk to make this plant-based. And then some onions, scotch bonnet, and bell peppers that I just chopped up, okay? So first thing we wanna do is just whisk together the dry ingredients just to take out any clumps or lumps. Um, you don't need to sieve this, okay? I didn't seasoned it with salt and pepper. Forgot to show you guys that. This is to taste and you will adjust later on, but just season generously. And then I gradually add in some milk. Now, now, you don't need eggs for this batter. We're going to get the crispness from the cornmeal and you just want a thick batter. You don't want it to be loose, a bit thicker than a pancake because we want all the um, vegetables and ingredients to clump together and, you know, we don't want too much air of batter. So you want something that looks a little like this, okay? Just mix it until it's smooth and everything's nice and combined. And then you add in all the vegetables. It's so easy, guys, seriously. So just add in the corn, add in the onions, peppers. You can put some cheese in here. You can put courgettes, whatever you want, okay? Go wild. The basis is just corn for me today. <laughs> so um, mix this together until everything's combined. And as you can see, there isn't much batter here. Now, I wanted it to be full of corn and peppers, and it's just to bind everything together. So it looks a little something like this, and I love how it goes red from the paprika I added. Um, I used smoked, which was delicious in this. You can also put some chili powder, ginger powder, Really, it's all up to you. Feel free to add anything. I just want you guys to take away the basis of this, which is just a simple corn fritter. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is just fry them. Now, I'm doing them in a pan. You can deep fry them if you want, but to just, you know, keep it nice and healthy, I'm just going to put a little bit of vegetable oil in a large pan on medium heat. And I'm doing about a tablespoon of batter per fritter. Um, this is just because we want it to cook through. Sorry about the lighting changing a lot here. I was just trying to figure things out and make sure you could see it. So I did a tablespoon of batter and just spread it out. Not too thin, but just enough so, like, there's enough surface area and you get enough crunch. And Remember, I'm doing everything in one direction so I know which way to turn it. That way, if it's clockwise, you know to turn the first one clockwise. If it's anti-clockwise, you turn it the other way. That way you don't burn some and, you know, they're all ready at the same time. So that's just a tip for you when you're doing these in a frying pan. It's a bit harder in a deep fryer, but you get the gist. So you, you know they're cooking well when you start to see bubbles form on top. It's kind of like a pancake. Because there's flour in this, you just want to make sure you don't turn them too early Make sure the heat is on medium low, okay, so they can cook and get crispy and, you know, the flour can cook out. So I just moved them around to just make sure they're not sticking. I did turn my pan around, so don't worry, I do remember which side I turned first. And I was just looking under there, they looked absolutely perfect. And then just flip them over and look how delicious and golden brown those are. I like mine a bit crispy. If you do want to go a bit golden brown, do it to your taste, however you like it, and Guys, so good, so easy, and quite healthy as well, not too oily either. So I just cook them on the other side, add a little bit more vegetable oil if you need to, you know, don't be scared to, and just let them cook on the other side as well, just a bit like a pancake, okay? And I really wanted you guys to hear this, just, wow. you guys to hear that. Ooh. This sounds so crispy. Yum. Okay. So when they're done, I then put them on just a paper towel and drain them off. And that's really all there is to it, guys. Um, I served mine with this lovely garlic mayo that I made. I do have the recipe for that on my calamari um, recipe. So I'll put the link to that down below. You can use any dip, mayo, or just eat it as is. And guys, 
<laughs> so delicious look how steamy and delicious those are the onions cooked the chili has cooked and it's just smoking and yummy okay i was so happy with these i ate them all mm. the batter i made made about eight oh. fritters <laughs> so you know you have plenty mm. here and it's just a great thing to make for summer i really hope you guys enjoy this recipe if you did please give me a thumbs up make sure you like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye